Hi guys. Okay, I am back with content. Yay. We are back with another amazing Marvin video. I mean, right now we're looking at clutter up. Hang on, actually. Hello, everybody. Okay, we are back with another amazing Marvin video. Now, first of all, important update. Pew pew. Okay. I am now an Amazing Marvin partner, which is very exciting. Thank you, Amazing Marvin, for letting me in your program. Um, so you can get a 60-day trial versus a, I believe it's 30-day trial if you use my code, which should be in the description of this video. And I also have a link if you sign up through that. That helps a lot. So thank you guys for your support and we are back with some amazing marvin videos i had to take a second plan it out some content get my life together <laughs> june is my birthday and it's always my like reset time so mentioning that that's what today's topic and video is so i like to generally reset basically my entire life in like Yes, my birthday's at the end of June, so it feels like appropriate, but also that's the halfway mark in the year. Younger me would always look at being halfway through the year and be like, oh, wow, okay, I didn't hit half of my goals, or like, I'm not on track, or whatever, and all these other things became the higher priority, and just be like, okay, well, in December, I'll get like re-motivated, and next year's my year kind of energy, right? And I think a lot of us do that, and it's summer, and you just kind of want to chill and vibe, but... I am now getting better at being like, okay, <laughs> let's reset, repivot. Let's not sit here um, and feel all bad about what I haven't gotten done, which is hard, hard for everybody to be like, look at these unaccomplished projects and be like, wow, I'm so lazy. Don't do that. Just view it as like you're looking at someone else's status update and be like, okay, how can we adjust this? to make it work with the rest of the year and what can we fit in for the rest of the year and how can we make this work and flow. So I like to sit down with everything and let me show you how I'm doing this in Amazing Marvin. I'm, I adjusted my workflow. I'm repivoting some things. Um, as always, I think you guys know I use the web version. My computer is old and slow dinosaur. So not that the app is problematic. The app is fine, but I just, my computer is a dinosaur and I accept that. I love it. I'm a tech minimalist and, you know, environmentalist. So I take my time with updating my technology. Um, I'm fitting this better in my, there we go. Um, so I just use the web version. Not a big deal. I love the app on my phone. I love the app on the computer. It's perfectly fine. I just want to say it a hundred times. It's fine. It's, <laughs> and it's not really a problem when I use it on my computer. It's just super, super fast when I use it on the web for me, because once again, dinosaur computer. Okay. Moving on. So what I did, I was looking at my list and what I love about Marvin is that, I mean, a lot of the apps kind of have this like, okay, you can see where your projects are old or stale, or you started them a long time ago. And I'll go through all of this. This will probably get long. Don't try and replicate my view and my workflow because it's just how my brain is like works and is, you know, um, but it may or may not work for you, but maybe there's some nugget in here that you can take from, uh, let me collapse clients, just, you know, privacy. Um, for my overall workflow to kind of put in yours if needed, if you want. So, cool. Anyway, I took everything out because I don't like to use Marvin as like a dumping ground. That doesn't work for me. I've done that with every single app I've ever used from to do, to do is clicked up, Taskade, Notion, all of them. <laughs> it's just like, every single thing that comes into my brain. So at the moment I use Todoist because it's just so easy to just blah and like delete things and move them around in there. And half the time I don't even end up doing these things that I brain dump, right? I'm like, okay, like <laughs> get a Marvin tattoo. I don't know. And then it's like, okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, like these kind of ideas. So I love to have one spot to just brain dump. I don't use Marvin for that. If you do, cool. Like have at it. There's nothing wrong with the tool. I just know for myself when I log in and I see 
um, you know, 50 projects, which kind of was starting to happen as a lot of, if you guys saw my other videos, like there were a lot of projects and it was just like, I needed a refresh and a restart. So I did. So I took out all of my projects, especially the ones that had, if you can see this little tiny, it should pop up like the stale, um, let me make sure that's popping up on the video, like that little stale, that little exclamation point next to this little spot here down there that will let you know when they are getting old. Like these tasks and these projects are been there for a hundred days now. And at least half of my projects had that. And I was like, okay, reset, let's do this. It, you know, and it's time consuming. So try and be better at like, this is where weekly and monthly and quarterly reviews come into play where you can update these things as you go. But sometimes we just get busy and overwhelmed and I haven't had a chance. So I took the chance. Now, this is my workflow for projects. Um, also, I emailed, um, I signed up for, her name is, I think she says it, Tara, instead of Tara Wagner, Tara, Tara Wagner. Anyway, I'll put a link to her channel below. And she had an email newsletter where I was like, hey, yeah, sign up and like get updates for me. And I was like, cool. And then the first autoresponder was like, email me with like, problems you have in your business and I was like uh 500,000 projects and not enough time you know just kind of like oh yep that's my problem thinking that they would just like send me some like oh well try our ebook and I got a personalized video response from her of <laughs> what she thinks I should do just by reading my email like a six minute video of a workflow and all of these and I was like first of all it was the most customized response to an, a general email I've ever gotten. I am now a raging fan. Okay, cool. So, um, that was great. And, <laughs> but basically the summary of the video, cause she's like a business coach and I can always use coaching and all that stuff. And she was like, Hey, you need to take everything and like minimize it down to like your actual priorities. Like you need to take all of this off your plate. If it's not something that really truly matters. So I was like, oh, that hurts. And you're right. <laughs> so I took everything out and here's how I do it, right? Just a brain dump. And this is just, like I said, an idea. If it works for you, take a nugget or two from it. If not, great. Um, so I use for project brain dumps. Todoist is like tasks and blah. And I use ClickUp for just project bleh, out of my brain. And here's how or organize them. On this left-hand side, you'll see here, once again, you can do this in Marvin. Nothing wrong with Marvin. I love, obviously, am in love with Marvin. Could not talk about it more. But I like to see, Marvin is my, here's the things that are on my plate truly that I need to focus on. And as you can see with all these other side projects everywhere, probably, what, like 100 between all those? That's just things in my radar. And that's not even including uh, my client list, which is up here. And I got uh, content down here, which is like the websites I write for and blog posts and videos and all of that content. So this is just other stuff. Here's how I divide them. Um, I first of all have my 90 day focus, which is I already put it into a Marvin, which is land 10 new client projects. That is my goal of that. And that is my ultimate number one focus every day. Get going. Focus on that for this quarter. And quarters are three months. So the top next 90 days. And then any idea I have of this is the workflow of the projects of how I like to do them. So I brain dump ideas. Throw them in there. Right. Or just down here in this actual idea category. But if I know which one it falls into and I'll go through them all brain dump into here just ideas and then research is like okay I'm gathering resources like it's not fully on deck yet you know I'm just getting an overview of what this project could look like and not all projects need this much depth I have some other ones that don't but like sometimes they do and I just need this is once again my crazy brain and my workflow of how I work through my projects so once I have enough research, then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to like map this out. Like what are the steps of needing to do this that I can do? Ready to be on deck. Like these have been like, okay, it's ready. And then the next three. So I only keep it to three at a time for each area, which is still a lot. 
but the next three that I could, you know, are ready to go. Like, I just need to pull it up, decide it's on deck, and work through it. And then, obviously, on deck, aka it's in Marvin, Marvin Mabu, and then it's complete. So, that is my workflow for projects. 90 day focus. I mean, obviously, okay, it's already in Marvin, but 10, you know, 10 new, new client projects. I'm already down to two and it's the second week of July. So things are going well, um, which is why I love Marvin because it helps me focus when things are officially on deck. And I also just got these background projects. Okay. Delete that. <laughs> And it helps me get my background projects kind of off of Marvin of just because like they're not important. I keep only Marvin for what matters. Marvin is only what matters in my life, period. <laughs> and everything else can wait. And I understand that Marvin has the background, um, the back burner items and all that stuff. You know, and you can go through those and use that to your, you know, for what works for you. I just don't even want to see it. My brain is like, I don't want to see it. It doesn't exist until I'm ready to deal with it or else my brain starts working on it. That's, I'm one of those people that's like, if I even see that, like just seeing that, like go through pipeline myself, I was like, oh, I need to do that. And then now I'm like, Bleh. so to prevent overwhelm. That's what I do. Okay, 90 day, top two. And then I have like, okay, that's my 90 day overall, like be all end all. This is gonna take a few months to finish and I accept that. And then the top two goals are like, okay, one personal goal and one business goal that matter the most and my current focus. So let's take a look. I'm doing the KonMari process. I have July off of some other things on my plate. So I am decluttering my entire life in my house. So, well, apartment, but whatever, um, my space. So these are the ones I've complete. This is my personal one. I need to finish decluttering my office. Cool. And I could keep some of this in ClickUp and that's great, but I just love Marvin so much and how it works that I, so when they're on deck here, so right now I'm working on my copywriting business course. That is the top priority for my work. And then this is personal, like, as you can see, I did out some other clean ones, um, but declutter my office is next on deck. And then here's everything that's just waiting or I'm fleshing out or whatever I'm working on. So, and ideas and stuff like that. So, but once they're on deck, they come in here and then they, here's like the copywriting business course. Here's all of this. Um, these are, you know, declutter my office. Like there it is. So, great. I'm using her advice. I'm simplifying one goal at a time for my personal life, one goal at a time for my business, and then an overarching, like, this is the real big, big goals. And I also gave them a little um, signifier. See that little crown next to 10 new client projects? Hopefully that's seen these names. It's not a big deal. You just, <laughs> is that, um, but you go in here, you go to the right hand side, quick edit, um, and then edit. And then down here, right there, if you have the most important project enabled, I believe it's a strategy right there next to the stars, you can pick three and give them that little label. That's why that one has the crown. There's a crown, crown in each one of those. Cool. Okay. So 10 K and pitch, that is the, um, uh, I think his name is T Hi T K H E. Anyway, it's his idea of what's going to have an impact of like ten thousand dollars an hour down the line. Th things like that are obviously, as you can see, like um, reading and replying Ramit Sadie's book, which is um, how to automate your finances. You know, automating your finances obviously has a ten thousand dollar impact down the line. These are the really big things that aren't like the top necessarily, but they have a huge impact later on as I finish them. They're always not always fun, automated lead gen, all of these things. So these are research, mapping out, next, 
these are undead. And I try and keep it to at least like th like one to three at a time. That's fine. So anyway, okay, moving on. Core work. I mean, I won't click through all these. I think that'll get make this video like forever long. But um, core work is what work are you paid to do? And this falls in line with Brendan Burchard's PQO work, which is, I think it's prolific quantity output or quality, quantity. One of the two. What are you paid to do? And that doesn't include emails. That doesn't include net, like networking. All the, what, if you're a musician, making music is your PQO, right? If you're a writer, like I am, writing is my PQO. Right. And that is my core work. That is the apps. That is my job description and all of the tasks and projects associated with that. Right. Um, so those I give unlimited. I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever I need to do to get these done. I don't care how many projects it is because that is my work. I can't, you know, I, I am trying to simplify them to like what's on deck, but obviously it's like creating reels and TikToks. Like it doesn't sound that important, but in terms of that's my experimental, uh, whatever. The point is your core work needs to be pulled out of everything because it's so easy to go through your days and be like, oh, I answered emails and I did this and I did that. And I like, oh, I, you know. Especially for so many of us who are working remote more and more as time goes on, making sure that you have your absolute what matters. So if you are asking your boss for a raise or if you're trying to manage your time, like making sure you're getting what actually matters done, you know, that's why I think Slack and those kinds of tools are very dangerous. I've had a lot of clients where, you know, we'll sit around and we'll Slack all day, but it's like, okay, wait, <laughs> things need to get done, right? So there's that um but this is my full reset date specific means like you know there's a deadline or I'm in like a fitness challenge there's an end to it there's a date it needs to be done by like xyz um incubating researching just like no crazy ideas like oh if I wanted to fly to space or something let it put that in there like let me just spend time researching that urgent I think that's pretty important uh next action priority now I understand the philosophy behind GTD and like next action. My problem with GTD is that I can find so many like next actions to do for a project that like it doesn't get done. And the point of Marvin and me doing this reset is that, you know, that's the, just the one complaint I have with GTD and why I'm not like a full religious follower of it. And if you're a big fan, like, please tell me why I'm messing this up. But like, if I looked at a project, right, like organize my office, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, next action, this drawer, next action, that drawer, next action, that drawer. And it just seems to take so long to get through these next actions that like you can do it until it's like <laughs> you can spread it out over a year. I love some deadlines, but my next action projects are ones where it doesn't matter how long it takes me. Right. And like, yes. I have one that's a priority that's kind of like, okay, these just matter to my life. Like I'm doing a dog training course. I'm just working through those lessons and working on them with my dog. Not a high priority. When I have time, I get to those. So everything above NA priority, next action priority has time blocks. Those are scheduled in my calendar to get done. Everything else is like, okay, when I can get to it, great, cool. If not, my be week is insanely busy and I have so many client projects, I'm overwhelmed. Great. Cool. And then next section, background, like truly unimportant things, like cleaning out like computer folders, just like I can click on that and be like, okay, like, and I don't keep my next action ones in Marvin because it's just like, though they became stale, they took so long, like all of these things, like cleaning out computer files is just like this ongoing nightmare project that seems to never end, just me. And just like when I have time or when I'm like tired or I'm it's or like I'm hungover, you know, or something and I'm like, okay, what can I just work on like mindlessly? I just open that up and start checking those off and like working my way through them. But no big deal. Outcome goals. Now this was made for me to separate because 
I put a lot of outcome projects on my plate, right? Like my 90 day goal is kind of an outcome goal. And I define outcome goals as like someone needs to approve it or say yes, or something needs to happen. Right. And like, okay, for example, if I was in a fitness competition, the outcome is winning it. I can't control that, but I can control how often I go to the gym. I can control my sleep, my diet, my work, my, like all of those factors. But winning is like someone has to pick that. Someone has to look at my pictures and think I won. I can't influence that, but I can influence all those other things. So I keep my outcome goals there because I don't, they are the outcomes of the work that I'm doing, right? But looking at them, knowing like, okay, like my 90 day one, and I'm going to write that down into sub projects, but like something like that is like, okay, the client has to say yes, sorry. (laughs) And the client has to be like, yes, you're hired. And I can do my best to make that happen, but I can't like go in their brain and be like, yes, hired, you know? So I don't like to, so some examples include, I wonder if anything's embarrassing in this. Oh, here's one. Get amazing Marvin's average workday smiley above the average workday. So when you plan your day, you can see, hey on. I want to get this above. Okay. And I'm working on it every day, but you know, whatever. Um, okay. So we'll go to tomorrow and then plan day and then see this little smiley here. Here's my average birthday. Here's an above average weekday. I want it to go up. (laughs) This guy was like, he was like halfway. He was down here for a little while. And now I'm trying to inch him up. So it gets higher. And I want my smiley to be more like Ned to this little guy of like this little sweaty man. (laughs) So we are working on that and like I can't sit here and force that to happen right now like if I just worked on that all day today it wouldn't matter that's just like an outcome goal like as I am being productive and working on my systems that is a byproduct of what I'm doing if that makes sense so like a six day a month on a side hustle that I'm working on you know it's like sure I can force that as much as I want and like, but those, that will come true based on the sub projects that I make that works to that. Okay. Um, first, you know, like that's another, like a side hustle, um, going through the Tonmari books. I, there's so many I want to read still in my like bookshelf that I'm working through that I bought that I haven't read yet. And that is just a matter of like, it's an outcome because I need to do my reading every day or weekly or whatever and work my way through them if that made sense okay all of these are like okay if I follow my systems these are what will happen cool okay moving on so anyway um as always long video so test these things like just ideas that come into my circle that I'm like hmm maybe I want to try twitter threads for 30 days you know and like see what that does so um learning things i'm learning like languages all of that stuff just like you know launch a big term goals you know huge buying a house or whatever it is goes in there in the six in the next six months i love and a lot of those are outcome goals but stuff but i love to think six months ahead like okay i'm sitting here in december what would i love to have done like what would i love like where would i love to be in six months um, on hold, obviously things I'm waiting on side hustles and ideas slash brain dump of ideas. So like I said, everything above net session priority, these guys along with client work comes into Marvin. I mean, I guess I can collapse these a little bit for a second just to make it pretty. So I come in here. I put them all down and here is everything that I am working on by category and color coded zinged so pretty um, <laughs> and each one has a different color so time bound once again it, there's a deadline there's a due date clients I think that's pretty obvious side hustle other things I'm doing that are not 
my PTO work. Like this channel, I love it so much. I am not paid from doing any of this. I don't have YouTube monetized. I don't have my blog monetized. I don't have a product for sale, nothing. This is just purely, I have a little affiliate. Hey Marvin, love you. <laughs> but for the most part, that is a side hustle. And my PTO work is like my work. So I made money as a copywriter and a content creator in that realm. And I teach courses and all that thing. So like I'm paid for those. And that is what that is. My top two, obviously all of that. 10K, Game Changers, Goals, all that. July, pretty clear cut. Urgent, just like, hey, <laughs> like I'm fighting some bugs on my plants these days. Like that's in my mind urgent. Anyway, so as you can see, the point is that this is much more simplified. As you look on the right there and see my entire, like how many tasks per each one of those, that is much more doable than anything else. So if you find yourself, the point is, if you find yourself becoming wildly overwhelmed with your project and with your work and like, I don't want to log into Amazing Marvin ever and feel like upset and nervous and like, anxiety ridden, right? I want to log into Amazing Marvin and feel like the tool and I are working together. Marvin's here to help me. So the second I start to feel like I'm looking at my master list and I kind of want to like <laughs> throw up a little bit, not because of the tool, because of I overwhelmed myself. It is time to sit down and do an entire reset of everything and go, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I'm too much on my plate. Time to take it off. Time to reset. Time to restart. And in my mind, July is the perfect time to do that. So if you're looking for a reset and a restart, that is my workflow. Maybe something was helpful or inspirational. It's a little crazy. I'm aware. You could easily put all of that into Marvin, put a whole bunch on the back burner. Um, you can set up a lot of uh, Marvin also has the dependencies. So like when you finish a project, you can hook it up and show like, okay, now this project comes on deck. That's totally possible. And like I said, I just love to see, like things don't exist. I just log in a Marvin and these are the only th things in my realm of existence that matter at the moment for me to do during my work day. So that is my current workflow. I will probably, you know, I'm sure every few months I'll set it up. The beautiful part about Marvin is that even setting all of that up and refreshing it only took like maybe two hours. Whereas like when I I'm in the middle of resetting like some notion workflows and some databases and I'm up to like six hours and I've only done like one page out of 40. So, <laughs> so I love Marvin. It's so easy and quick and helpful. And this is, let me show you just real quick. Also my, um, close this out. Um, there's some work I'm doing today. Here's here just showing you my flow of all my work here today. Um, Pomodoro, I need to set up my reward points. Clearly self care is a pain point of work for me. And so time tracking, which I love to then at the end of the week, I can look at all of this. So like last Friday, as you can see, working on my goals, haha, <laughs> that's cute. But <laughs> working on all of these other things totally oh I need to set my top one in here but these are just this is weekly targets the strategy so you can set that up to time track and make sure you're hitting each one of those categories something I highly recommend because then you can see how like clearly I didn't spend any time on my goals last week so I mean I did to some of them were like decluttering my space and I just didn't set the timer for it and I just did it. Um, but so, you know, anyway, that is it. Here's like, and then I put my top projects here. I have it enabled. So the, anything with the crown shows up every day. So I see it, no phone at night projects anyway. And this is one I enabled recently. Little Marvin, look at how, I just want him there. He's so cute. He's look, I mean, look at how cute he is. So this gives you a suggested task. It's one of my favorite things click here and it tells you like, okay, in order of your, like everything you said is important. It analyzes all of your tasks and looks at everything and is like, Hey, here's your next suggested task. Do it. <laughs> so, okay. That is it. That is my amazing Marvin cur 
current setup. So feel free to take what works for you. I'm sure I'll be setting it up more. I'm moving everything into Marvin with time, but I'm also keeping it simple and easy. So I get the most important thing done because in my mind, the most important part of productivity is not how much you get done. It's making sure that you're getting what actually matters done. So that is it. Beautiful. Like I said, my code and my link down below. Feel free to check them out. Bye guys.